Hey guys, this is Jack from FPV Academy and in this video we're going to talk about the Fat Shark FPV goggles. So if you did purchase the Fat Shark goggles along with your FPV Academy build along kit and just your entire bundle, then this is the video that you need to be watching if you want to know how to set it up. If you're unsure about how the visual receivers work or how to get on the right channel, then hopefully this video will help you out a little bit with that. As a side note, these goggles are really comfy to wear. So if you do want to go onto your couch and just have a nice little sleep and it's really, really light and you need something that's dark, you don't need to get those things that you get from the airport when you go flying. Just grab your uh, Fat Shark FPV goggles. You can sit back and just enjoy it. Now to attach your visual receiver module to your Fat Shark goggles is actually very, very easy. So let's first look at the next wave one, which is the cheaper option of the two that we have with our package. So I'll move the Furious 2D out of the way and then let's look how we're going to Put this onto our goggles. So on the side here you'll see that if the goggles are facing this way it is this bay on this side. This is where the receiver module goes. This side is for the head tracking module but we're not going to be using that at all. So you will see then once it's been opened that there's a bunch of holes there. It's a black strip and it's holes in it and there are some pins on your receiver. So you just very easily plug it in and push it in. Make sure that it's tight in there. It won't come out and that is how you install that module. Then you want to be able to change the channels of your receiver as well. So before we put this back on again to make sure that it's covered up nicely, you want to make sure that your channel is tuned in the same way. So let me just zoom in here for you guys a little bit and then also focus that so you can see a little bit better. And it's a little bit high. Okay. So on the bottom here, you will see that there are two pins and those pins can get switched by clicking them up and down. The bottom, it is a number zero, and if it's pointing up, it's a number one. So with your Fat Shark uh, receiver module that you got, you will see that there is a whole sheet of different frequencies on them. So the way that you tune those is, like I said, those two buttons that click up and down here, and then there's a channel button at the top. So let me just zoom back here again so you guys can see a little bit better. So you'll be using this channel button to go up and down, shuffle through the channels to find the right one. So either one all the way up is either number one or number eight, and all the way down is also, like I said, either number one or number eight. And then that is how you tune into your channel using your Fat Shark goggles. So what, once you have found the channel that you want, you can unscrew this, put this back on again, and then screw this back on, and you are always locked in on your channel, it won't change unless you click this channel button over here. So that is how you connect your visual receiver to your fat rocks. So let's have a closer look at the next one, which is the Furious True D. So same thing, you're just gonna plug that straight in and then that is going to attach the entire Furious True D really nicely. I like how they have that extra 3D printed cover. It fits really nicely on there and it looks really beautiful. So once that is done, we can plug it in power this bad boy up and then you should be able to see a little bit better on the screen. So let me focus here so you guys can see what, exactly what I'm doing. There we go. And then what you want to do is hit the button on the side and then go to manual mode. Then on manual mode, you can shuffle through the channels. You'll see that there um, in the top right, it shows you what channel you are currently on and then um, you can shuffle through until you found the channel that you need to be on. So it corresponds with the channel on your VTX. So that is how you search for your channel. Once you find the channel that you are on, you can hold in the button and that will save that channel to the memory of this. So whenever you charge it back up again, power it up, then it will be on that same channel. Now, another really cool feature is if you go to auto search, it will search for all the channels available. As you can see on screen, um, it then found a channel and then it locks onto that and that's really really nice too and then also the final one is the band scanner you can search for a band and um, I don't have any quads plugged in now but wherever that quad is on the frequency it will show a spike that that is where it is seeing that um, there is a signal so that is how you set up your uh, Furious 2D I really love this 2D it's a really nice little setup and it works really, really great. So if you guys have any questions or concerns on how to set this up, if you're having problems with yours, let me know in the comments below and I will try to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thanks so much for watching this and I'll catch you guys in the next one.